Jay was visiting a friend in Spokane, Washington. He'd parked his Model S on the street in front of her apartment. Suddenly, sentry mode was triggered when a man carrying two gas cans walked toward the parked Tesla. He stopped by the side of the Tesla and put the gas cans down on the sidewalk before scouting the area and making sure the coast was clear. It actually wasn't clear as we can see other cars passing by, and the guy even turned away to make sure nobody saw his face. What he didn't know was that the Tesla had built-in cameras facing every angle and they were already rolling. Sentry mode kept recording as the guy began pouring gasoline all over the roof and windshield of the Tesla. Then he set it on fire. Even with the fire raging, the cameras kept rolling and the rear camera captured the arsonist running off. The cameras continued recording until they eventually melted off, but the footage was already saved and Jay is now asking for your help catching the guy responsible. The fire department was able to safely extinguish the blaze, but Jay didn't even know this had happened until the next morning when his friend headed out for work. She called and told him, uh, hey, you might want to come outside and see this. It's your car. The driver's window had been smashed by the fire department when they were verifying that the car was unoccupied. Now, we're no detectives, but right after the guy ran off, a car drove by with headlights off and paused to gawk at the burning Tesla. Sure, it could be a curious passerby, but I think I remember from some TV show that coming back to admire their work is textbook arsonist behavior. What we do know is that this guy set this Tesla on fire. If you recognize him, please contact us and we'll forward the information to Jay and the police. Josh was driving his Model X in Mineola, Florida when he was suddenly passed by a police car. At the same time, he heard a swarm of police cars approaching in the oncoming lanes. A stolen semi was fleeing the police, ran a red light, and was broadsided by a Jeep, causing the semi to spin out of control, cross the median, and slide right behind Josh. Thankfully, Josh was able to hit the juice pedal and get out of the way. Two suspects fled. One of them was captured five minutes later, but they were still searching for the other using helicopters for at least another hour. Josh showed his footage to the police and gave them a copy. They were thankful and told him they can use it as evidence. Jeff was driving his brand new Model 3 with autopilot engaged when he entered an S-turn. An oncoming truck driver failed to maintain their lane and drove directly into oncoming traffic, striking the vehicle ahead of Jeff. Jeff told us the Tesla handled the situation fantastically. As soon as the oncoming truck was in his lane and headed for a head-on impact, FSD jerked the steering wheel to the right and steered the Tesla onto the shoulder, giving just enough room for the truck to pass without hitting him. Jeff stopped to check if the driver was okay, got their information, and sent them a copy of the video. The truck driver said a spider had jumped out of the glove box, scaring his wife and distracting him. The other driver said it wasn't the worst thing he'd experienced in his 80 years, but we suspect the spider story was definitely near the top of the list. Emilio's mother was on her way to work in their family's Model X when, all of a sudden, a man rear-ended her, then fled the scene after she'd pulled over to the shoulder. She immediately called Emilio and his dad to tell them what had happened, and they told her to call 911 and that they were on their way. When they arrived, Emilio immediately checked the camera footage and realized that the other car had been so badly damaged it couldn't get too far even if the driver wanted to, because the radiator had been completely destroyed. His car had had to be overheating, meaning he had to be making frequent stops. Emilio and his dad headed toward LA, searching for the car. About three hours after the accident, Emilio's dad found the car and called 911 before deciding to approach it. He approached the driver and offered him assistance in getting to wherever he needed to go since his car seemed to be in bad shape. He continued to play the part of the Good Samaritan until the police arrived. Emilio was on his way while on the phone with the 911 operator, explaining to them that his father was with the suspect. The operator told him not to follow the suspect because he could be dangerous and it would be their own fault if they were harmed. Emilio told the operator that was a risk they were willing to take.
Finally, the police arrived and arrested the suspect. He had over a pound of marijuana in his car, no driver's license, and no insurance. Emilio had to file a claim with their own insurance provider. Fixing the car took over six months, and the car still needs some adjustments. Now, he rents the Tesla out on Turo. Emilio asked us to plug his Turo account and help his car rental business. This is the first time you can actually rent a piece of Wham Bam memorabilia. Go check it out and live the Wham Bam experience. Jonathan was sitting at a red light in Redondo Beach, California. Just as the light turned green, a black Ford Focus coming from the left ran their red light and hit two cars. One of the wrecked cars rolled toward Jonathan's lane and hit a Scion to his right, making this a four-car accident. It looks like the driver of the Tesla in front of Jonathan managed to escape being hit by reversing just in time. Jonathan provided his footage to responding police officers, and they immediately found the driver of the black Ford at fault. Everyone involved was okay, but Jonathan noticed the driver of the black Ford put his hands over his face after the crash as if he knew he'd done something wrong. Will was driving in the left lane when he noticed a car coming at him from behind going at least 100 miles per hour, so he moved over to let them pass. As they passed him, Will says it looked like they drifted into the shoulder before correcting and swerving in front of Will's Tesla, kicking a bunch of debris up onto his windshield and cracking it. Will isn't sure if they did this intentionally or if the driver was drunk, but they managed to keep their car in the lane following this incident. Actually, we've seen a meme making the rounds on TikTok and Facebook touting this pro-driver tip. You can cut off any Tesla and it will automatically hit the brakes and let you in. The comments on those threads are terrifying. Some people say they intentionally do this all the time, and others say they'll be trying it out. Please be careful out there. We discussed this on the Wham Bam Fam Discord server, and one of our members, Steven, pointed out that the sign in the picture and the sign in Will's video both say Dixon Landing. Steven even found both locations, and they're both taken from I-880, traveling in the same direction. What do you guys think? Could this be the same car from the meme? You keep asking us, where are all the Honda bumps? Well, we have a question for you. Do you believe robots will take over the world? It sure looks like the tables have turned and Tesla's AI has had enough of the Honda bumps, as this clip from Ethan demonstrates. Ethan was summoning his Model 3 from his school's parking lot. The app showed the car was moving, but then it completely stopped. He heard someone honking, so he went over to move the car, figuring it had gotten itself stuck. But then he discovered what had happened and he was shocked. The Tesla had bumped into a Honda. The Honda owner was actually sitting in her car at the time. They both filed insurance claims. When Ethan called his insurance provider, the insurance rep asked who'd been driving. Ethan said, no one, it's a Tesla and was driving itself while I was summoning it. The insurance guy paused and said, well, that's a new one. He then put Ethan on hold while he tried to figure out who to put down as the driver. He decided to say it was Ethan until an adjuster could figure it out. The truth is that Ethan is responsible since he was in charge while using summon, or do you disagree? Tell us your thoughts in the comments. Ethan's repair estimate is currently at 5,045 US dollars. Sean was heading home from work in Trussville, Alabama. He was merging into the right lane to take his exit when, all of a sudden, a blue Cadillac sped past him. Sean told us that, at first, he didn't know what had triggered the Cadillac driver, but then he realized it must have been his reckless merge into the right lane. The upset Cadillac driver then lined up to brake check Sean. At that moment, Sean realized that he had caused this outburst and he was calm enough to remember the state trooper a few cars up that he'd noticed earlier. So he quickly formulated a plan. He shot around the crazy caddy driver and pulled in one vehicle behind the trooper, hoping she'd do something stupid before she noticed the trooper. His plan worked amazingly well, but the trooper either wasn't paying attention or just didn't care. Sean is planning to send this to the state and local police, but he told us he had to send it to Wham Bam first, of course. His son wouldn't have allowed anything else. Here's a cop who was paying attention. He was hiding in the shadow of an overpass and a speeding BMW driver didn't notice and flew past him. 
The trooper instantly lit up his party lights and pulled over the speeding BMW. Gotta love that instant justice. Fook's wife asked him to grab some bread on his way home one Friday. As he entered the store, he noticed two customers unloading their cart. The guy returning the cart thought he could give it a hard push into the cart corral, but unfortunately, he had the worst aim ever, and the cart missed the corral and went straight into Fook's front bumper cover, left fender, and door. Thankfully, a random shopper who happened to be sitting in their car witnessed the whole thing and took a picture of the person's car, including the license plate. Fook filed a police report and is waiting to hear back. Crew was driving on a service road with a double left turn lane. He was in the inside turn lane preparing to cross a bridge. Suddenly, an Amazon delivery driver in a Rivian van began to turn into his lane and almost hit him. The Rivian ended up passing behind him, honking the whole time, then crossed into the other turn lane on the other side of him. This is our first submission featuring the Rivian delivery van, and it looks great. Sadly, Crew says it was really annoying that the driver kept honking as if Crew was in the wrong. Crew contacted Amazon Delivery and Logistics to report the unsafe driver. Curtis's wife Cassidy was driving their Model 3 on a highway in Lehigh, Utah. The driver in front of them was swerving in and out of their lane with their turn signal on. The driver suddenly merged without looking and hit a pickup, which was forced to take the hit as the driver couldn't move to the right because of a semi-truck. Cassidy gave this footage to the police and the pickup driver, but she never heard back from them. James had parked his Model Y in Irvine, California when someone temporarily vandalized his car by drawing something nasty on the hood. Another guy then walked by his car, saw the message on the hood, and we have no idea what it was, but evidently he felt like he needed to wipe it off. James thinks maybe the kids left a note to not subscribe to Wham Bam, which of course means you should. In the end, the masterpiece didn't leave any permanent marks on his carbon hood. Darth Yogurt, okay, that's a great nickname. Anyway, Darth Yogurt was driving his Tesla in Wenatchee, Washington. As he approached a bridge, traffic was slowing down for a van that was stopped in the right lane. But one guy wasn't paying attention and rear-ended a Honda CRV. Darth Yogurt posted the footage on a community website hoping whoever might need it would find it there. According to Darth Yogurt, it turned out that the other driver was on his phone. Darth also wants to send a shout out to his wife Teddy. They watch our videos together as a couple. Aww. This submitter was driving down a main road in Wexford, Ireland when they saw a huge warehouse fire. They recorded it with both Tesla Cam and their phone. They told us the estimated insurance claim for the warehouse is approximately 5 million British pounds or over 6 million US dollars. We started this episode with one fire and ended it with another. See you all next week. Wham! Bam! We got a Patreon, man. Please support the show.